Hey y'all, I'm waiting for this car, just came in the hobby shop today, and I picked it up right away. Thought it looked sweet. Always wanted an RC with the, the flashing lights. I also picked up for 20 bucks a sound module. It's a nice loud siren sound. But to my disappointment, I didn't realize the car only came with a two-channel remote the DX2E and you got a waterproof receiver but again only two channels so when you get this car the lights are either always on or always off just you just got a little uh, on off switch inside but uh, I wanted to be able to uh, turn on the cherries and turn on the siren when uh, the speeders go by so I'll show you what I did got rid of this and grab my uh, DX3C give me my give me that uh, third channel and let me take off the lid here show you what I did first off is I uh, also had to put in a three channel receiver and I used the auxiliary port to hook up to this uh, seven channel switch I picked up from Hobby King. Uh, I discovered that uh, cars aren't like airplanes. You can't just uh, switch the power on and off. These uh, LAN receivers, the auxiliary switch always has the power on. So to Turn your power on and off. You need one of these switches or you can just get a simple Pico switch. Uh, I think this switch from Hobby King only cost me like uh, 10 bucks. It's pretty cheap and you got the option of adding a lot more stuff to it. Um, and then there's the sound system that I got with this. Uh, it wasn't too bad to set up. And uh, you know, it gives me the option of uh, just turning on the lights or turning on the lights and the siren. Thanks for a pretty fun car. Hope this helped.